Welcome to The Cosmic Revolution, a micro-podcast for cosmic revolutionaries who transform the world. I'm your host, Karen Curry Parker. If you're listening to this podcast, you're here on the planet at this time to serve as a cosmic revolutionary. What does that mean? It means you have a role in building an equitable, just, sustainable, and peaceful world. You incarnated on this planet at this crucial confluence of time to help usher in, to midwife this new world. Our true nature is to be creative. We are all, each and every one of us, powerful creative beings who use our perceptions to create our collective and individual experience of reality. Our collective consciousness is evolving Evolution in consciousness is not only showing up as new scientific understandings about how the world works. It is literally manifesting as physical changes in the way in which our brains and bodies work. The rate at which we are evolving is reaching a pace at which the old systems we created with material consciousness are no longer working for the majority of people. Our current education systems perpetuate an outdated way of thinking that causes children to feel that they're broken, stupid, disruptive, non-creative, or somehow less than. Our healthcare system treats people based on their material value and with limited models that do not take into account non-locality and fully integrative aspects of wellness and perception as part of the healing process. Our economy is driven by materialism inequality, and excludes people from participating fully. In an evolving world where the concept of value is changing dramatically, the old economy is no longer sustainable. Even the way in which we organize our communities and our government is in need of a serious overhaul as we begin to realize that affecting real, sustainable, peaceful change on the planet will require us to first and foremost change our perceptions about what we believe is possible to experience on planet Earth. We wouldn't be realistic if we didn't take stock of our current perceptions of the world and examine what these perceptions are creating. We live in a world where there is mounting scientific evidence that we're facing a global crisis, a crisis rooted in a consciousness and perception of lack. We are deeply conditioned by old material consciousness, which is based on a model of finite resources, zero-sum game thinking, and by nature, competition. We are afraid that we lack the resources, food, water, money, systems of allocation and management, education, opportunity, or knowledge to make the changes necessary to surmount the global challenges facing us today. Our collective perceptions of lack are created from our own individual stories of personal lack. Each and every one of us who is in some way living the story of not enough and creating the manifestation, the quantum collapse of the potential of lack is adding to the experience of lack on the planet. The perception of lack creates less than enough, accompanied by naysaying, (laughs) doubt, and the denial of unrealistic possibilities. When we think we are not enough, don't have enough, aren't worthy of more, and play in a limited zero-sum game, then that is what we inevitably create in the world. When we come from a place of lack, the dreamers who bring us the fantastical ideas, such as going to the moon, are shut down, laughed at, and denied the opportunity to assist with the evolution of humanity. The dreamers, the creatives, The leaders on the edge of consciousness, that's you. They know, sometimes without knowing exactly how they know, but they do, that they have the answers to saving the world. The answers to creating a world of sustainable peace and sustainable resources. When we shut down the dreamers, we shut down the possibility of what else is possible for the planet. Right now, on this planet, there are people who carry the seeds of inspiration, the root ideas for creating the next phase of humanity on the planet. In our midst are people who have the next new idea that can change the definition of what's possible for humanity, much like space travel changed our idea of who we are. 
and what we can achieve. For us to be ready to serve as sacred stewards for these ideas, to plant them, tend to them, and ultimately collapse the quantum potentials that will make them manifest in the world, we have to remember our natural creative power and unlock the full potential of our human creative genius. The cosmic revolution is for all of you who know what you know, but don't always know how you know. It is for those of you who have struggled to find the words to explain to others who doubt that you know as you trust your own heart. This information is for those of you who were told that your knowing wasn't enough. It is for those of you who listened to the words of others and doubted yourself instead of questioning their need to make you prove your own knowingness. This podcast is for those of you who, over the course of your life and your education, mistakenly bought into the belief that you're not enough, not brilliant, not creative, not powerful, not successful, not lovable, not worthy, not wise, or any other story you were told that caused you to believe that you are less than the breathtakingly awesome once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event that you are. This podcast is for you because when you reclaim the truth of who you are, you not only create a life that is worthy of you, you also take your place in service to the world by being who you truly are. May your wisdom lead us on the path forward. Thank you for joining us on the Cosmic Revolution Podcast with Karen Curry Parker. You are a once in a lifetime cosmic event. To find out more about how you can continue your journey as a cosmic revolutionary and transform the world with Karen Curry Parker, head to quantumalignmentsystem.com. Make sure you follow us on your favorite podcasting platform so you don't miss a single episode of Cosmic Revolution. We'll see you next time for some more bite-sized thoughts with Karen. How will you revolutionize your world today?